Thanks for joining us. Our top story at 430. The local stepmom accused of killing her 11 year old stepson pleading not guilty in court this afternoon. Letitia Stauk will now head to trial for the murder of her stepson, Gannon Stauk. Our Colette Bordelon has been on top of this case since the very beginning. She is joining us now live from outside the courthouse with the latest Colette. Letitia Stauk faces over a dozen charges and now her trial is scheduled to start at the end of March next year and last for six weeks. To put that into perspective, a typical homicide case in El Paso County runs for around two weeks. Today was the first time we've seen Stauk in person in the courtroom for months now at hearings leading up to this. We learned what investigators believe happened to Gannon early last year. Prosecutors say Letitia killed him in their Lorson Ranch home, then drove his body to the Florida Panhandle, where he was found in March of 2020. The Florida doctor who did Gannon's autopsy listed a gunshot, skull fracture, and 18 sharp force wounds. A sergeant with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office believes a gun found in the Stauk home is the one that fired the rounds collected in Florida. Now, today in court, there was talk about introducing new evidence during the trial, a type of a mental health defense that would only relate to Stauk's actions after the alleged murder of Gannon. Allison. And Colette, catch us up to speed here because there's been a lot of mental health issues raised throughout this case. Uh, I remember you reporting, it seems like she's been found competent twice to stand trial. That's right, Allison. She has already been found competent twice to stand trial, but this new kind of mental health defense wouldn't be related to competency. It's also not an insanity plea. The judge said he believes it would be related to charges of tampering with a body. Now, both sides are expected to reconvene in early December to figure out exactly how to proceed with this potential of new mental health evidence. They have to figure out if Stauk will be evaluated down at the state hospital in Pueblo or at the jail, where apparently those evaluations are taking a while to get turned around. At five, let's talk about jury selection in such a high profile case. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Colette Bordelon, News 5.